If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you'll know I like using gizmos. I mean, I've even got videos devoted to how to use them. However, sometimes I find myself in gizmo hell. So many gizmos displaying so much information. Now I could color code them up to try and distinguish them. I could even use the editor's little drop down and turn some of them off. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to magically hide them, depending on whether a component is expanded in the inspector for that 0.1% productivity boost. Now, straight off the bat, when I talk about hiding depending on a component's state in the inspector, I don't mean the difference between on-draw gizmos and on-draw gizmos selected. We're not doing anything that basic here, we're going advanced. So look at this robot. When it's selected, it has several components and they all have gizmos displayed, making the visual contextual information very cluttered. And I do hate cluttered visual contextual information. So what do we do? Well, first off, we make sure we own this beautiful environment, which happens to be on sale on the Unity Asset Store right now. Links in the description. And then we get to some tools coding magic. Now, there is a little known method called get is inspector expanded, and it can be found in the secret internal editor Unity class. Let me show you how it works. Now, I'm going to be working with gizmos in a custom editor class for the character move controller component. If you don't know how to create gizmos in custom editors, well, I have a video for that and I'll link it in the description so you can watch it afterwards. Anyway, all we do is we wrap our gizmo code with that method and that's it. Jumping back into Unity, now if we collapse and expand the component, watch as this particular arrow gizmo disappears. Now I've already gone ahead and added that little line onto all the other components. And as you can see, as I collapse them and expand them, I turn them on one by one. Now, obviously this method is not exclusive to just gizmos. It's not got anything to do with gizmos in the actual method name. So as a follow-up piece of homework for this week's video, let me and the community know what you would also wrap up with this method. 